Hello everybody, it is Dan Lags, and welcome back to part number two of our Modern House Let's Build tutorial, how to build, thingamabob, whatever you want to call it. And here is the progress that we made on the first episode. Again, we got most of the front of the house pretty much cleared away, looking pretty good. And for whatever reason, guys, I, I was under the impression at the beginning of last episode that I show you guys the final product of the house, but I actually didn't when I went back and watched the edit. So uh, I guess I was sidetracked by this building, but um, let me just quickly show you guys the final product of the house, which is right over here. So... Here's how it's going to look when it's done. Again, we're only one episode in. It's probably going to take us about three episodes to finish this, but um, here's the front. You know, this is just a little bit of a sample landscaping. It doesn't have to be like this. I'm probably, I'll probably, I might cover this, but just a sample. And then this is how it's going to look like from the side, like that. And then back here as well. Here's how the back looks. So everything is going to come together really nicely when it's finished. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and fly back over here and just jump right into it. So. Um, first thing we want to do is just clear away a couple of small mistakes that I made from the beginning of, or from the end of last episode real quick. Uh, first of those being, let's first, let's get out our blocks that we need. So we need some cyan stained clay, we need some grass blocks, and we're going to need some bone meal, I guess. We're going to need some snow caps, and we're going to need some snow, blocks of coal, some glass, some glass panes. And that should be good. So first thing we need to do is just extend this out two blocks with cyan stained clay and then connect it to the wall. You can break this stained clay here. Uh, not that block. And then just fill this in with grass. Again, um, this goes out two blocks extra than I expected. That was my mistake. So also we need to go ahead and move this one block in. So we're just a few blocks off on the first episode. Not a big deal at all. So you just want to break this here as well. Take the coal, run it through here like this. And then fill in the snow to the wall here. And then again, we want to take up our snow as well, our little snow caps. I believe it's four here. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So with that, we're going to go ahead and fill this in here. Like that. Looking good. So that's how we're going to start this off. And let's just go ahead and get into some new stuff here. So uh, what I want to do is actually go ahead and break all of these blocks here. And we're going to go ahead and first off, fill the colon. Make sure you fill the colon on the back so we have that nice uh, black look. I think I just said colon. Fill the colon. All right, and then just make this seven going all the way up. Seven blocks of stacked snow on top of each other, which is a big time tongue twister if you say seven stackable snow. That's going to be hard to say four times fast or five times fast. So I'm not even going to attempt it because I'm probably going to have to say it plenty of times this episode, so I might not wear out my voice. All right, so we're going to take this all the way across through here like this just like that perfect awesome looking fantastic next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out some coal three blocks from here so we got one two three fill this all the way up to the top like we never never stop and then if you did this right it should be six blocks here so we got one two three sorry one two three four five six and now one more thing we need to do is actually go ahead and uh move this back in one block i should have done that beforehand my bad just uh, break this, move it in one extra block here, and fill this up right here. And now you can go ahead and add your three extra blocks here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Just going all the way up to the top. Like that. There we go. Now that is officially correct. And then you can just simply fill these three blocks of snow in like that. It should be kind of cutting across this two blocks here, two blocks away from the snow. And then the uh, snow right here should be one block away from the coal. So with all that being squared away, let's go ahead and move on in here. So... What we're going to do is we're going to work over here for a second, kind of just uh, on this particular area of the house. And we're going to start off by just uh, coming in here and filling in some coal. First thing we need to do is take another layer of snow running all the way across through here, like this. And you can just simply fill this in like that. And then what we want to do is take eight blocks of coal away from the window here. So we already have two. So we're going to go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fill this in like this. Just take it all the way to the top. This is where our fireplace is going to be. And again, you can do the exact same thing over here. This is just wants to be a big old square. Take this all the way down through here. And just fill this whole thing in. It doesn't have to be, you know, it can be totally hollow. We're going to add a fireplace uh, inside of this wall uh, after, well, after we finished, um, you know, putting in the rest of the outside of the house. I'm going to get this all filled in like this. And there we go. So with that being done, we have a nice big block of coal here. Uh, we got a big square like that, which is looking good. Then we're going to come back out here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place a seven stack of snow here like that. 
And then we're going to get out some cyan stain clay. And what I want to do is actually go ahead and take up three blocks of cyan stain clay like that. And then we can go ahead and start to fill the snow in around it like this. And same thing on this side. Actually, we don't need to put that just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this out five blocks from this. This one does not count. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Then this is going to go back this direction, eight blocks. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can just fill this in back to the wall, just like that. And if you did it right, there should be one block of coal right here behind the snow. And then the exact same thing on this side, one block of snow. Then you can go ahead, or coal I meant. So we can go ahead and fill the rest of this in. I got to say, I really love cyan stained clay in this in uh, the default texture pack. It's just a really good looking block. I really like it. It's great for modern builds. Pretty much good, good for anything, honestly. Just a good solid block here. All right, with that being filled in, we can go ahead and take the snow and run it across through here. Again, this is going to be a seven stack like that. And then this is all going to be seven stack right here. So we can start from over here. Just fill this whole thing in like this, going all the way across. And then we're going to go ahead and continue filling that in later. But just want to start right now because we're going to have to do it eventually. So get this all filled in like this. So guys, I just want to give quickly thank you guys for the support on the first episode. Um, you guys really seem to like the house, so I'm glad that you guys like it. So, uh, obviously, uh, I appreciate it, uh, those of you who have sent me a couple of pictures on Twitter of, um, you downloading the house, or not downloading, uh, building it yourself on your world. So, that's really cool. It means a lot to me that you guys are following along with the build, and I appreciate it, guys. So, that we, now that we have that done, that's looking pretty solid. We want to kind of go ahead and fix up this, uh, little wall here. What exactly is this? We're going to go ahead and extend it out one extra block on the end, and then just take it up. And then we're just going to fill it all the way to the wall here. So if you did it right, it should be two blocks tall, five blocks right here, and then six blocks right here. Then what we want to do is go ahead and take up some seven stacks here, which is what I'm going to officially call them. We'll just call them seven stacks, uh, since I don't know what the terminology would be, because I don't want to say the tongue twister of seven stacks of snow, because it's going to be hard to say a lot, like I said earlier. All right, so this is going to get filled in all the way to the edge, just like that, and that is absolutely how you want to do that. Looking great. So, so far, so good, guys. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move in on the inside here. And what I want to do right now is actually place four blocks of snow right on the edge of the coal wall here and the snow. So one, two, three, and four. Just make like a four by two rectangle right there. And this is going to be the exact same concept as out here with our kind of like a gradual staircase down using snow stacks. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four, obviously heading down in increments of two. And then like that, obviously the full block here. And then you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to leave this block open right now because we're going to be adding something to this later. So there's no point in placing it now. One, two, three, four. You can, the, uh, the one on, towards the wall is totally fine though. That's just help you uh, scope it out. One, two. And then we're going to go ahead and place full blocks of snow like that. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and break this entire floor here. So going all the way across like this. And you can stop at the coal. Once you get to the coal, you can stop breaking it. We're just going to go ahead and break this whole floor since there's going to be a little bit of a elevation change on the house, I guess, for the inside. Just to give us a little bit more space and just add some nice layers to the house. So it's not all just one flat floor. So the reason, now you guys see the reason why I decided not to place those just yet. Because I'm going to go ahead and place some full snow blocks underneath of these. Like that. And now you can go ahead and fill these in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2. And let me just go ahead and quickly throw down some glowstone or something like that. So you guys can actually see what I'm up to. Um, again, glowstone kind of melts everything, so I kind of try to stay away from it on this build. But uh, besides that, we should be good. So we're going to go ahead and fill this in as well with some snow. And you're going to take this all the way down and actually go one block past the coal, and you can actually break those blocks like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place five more blocks of snow like that in kind of like a T formation. You're going to take that one up like that in full blocks. And then you can go ahead and fill this coal in like this. All right, so like that. And then obviously here, we're going to fill in the snow as well, just like that. All right, so now I kind of have this floor here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and place uh, another staircase down. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and one, two. Just like that. And then we're going to put some more snow here in kind of like a slab formation. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Going all the way down. And this is going to connect back to our full block over here. Obviously, we need to get rid of the glowstone now because that's going to melt stuff. This one probably will too. So we're going we're gonna to put some ceiling lighting in later, and I'm going to discuss lighting in general on this build uh, pretty soon. So before we move on from anything else, we're going to go ahead and just fill this rest of this floor in with some spruce wood planks. You can use whatever block you want. 
I like spruce wood planks for this. I think having like a nice little wooden floor inside this house is going to be cool. Especially like a darker wood. I wouldn't use like lighter wood. Like don't use like birch wood or like oak wood. Um, I would say either a darker wood. You can also even use like um, the sides of blocks. So like if you want to use like the side of like um, spruce wood like that as the floor. It could also look really nice. I'm just going to use spruce wood planks here. Um, I think the contrast of spruce wood and snow looks really nice. I mean, obviously, it's a, it has a biome together, so it, it's meant to be. And uh, that's just a good combination. So just go ahead and fill all this in here with some spruce wood. And then we'll get back to this particular part, probably next episode, where we'll do a little bit of uh, more detail into the furnishing. One last thing we're going to do, though, is just open up these blocks right here. Leave one block away on this side and on that side. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some coal right here. And then we're just going to do our exact same thing, seven stacks like this going all the way up and across just like this and it's going to be just perfect all right so going all the way across like this there we go so now this area is kind of um squared away and we will continue to work on this part later guys so let's go ahead and move on we're going to start to uh, move over to this side a little bit so what i want to do is just kind of like take this wall all the way across and here's how i'm going to do this guys so i'm just going to go ahead and take some snow running all the way down and we want to line up with the ceiling here and then the same thing right here. Take it all the way down and right here as well. Like that. And then we want to go ahead and fill in some coal right here because this is going to be, uh, this bottom layer here is going to be some a seven stack. So again, just go ahead and take your seven stack, run it all the way down. This is going to look awesome, guys. All right. So here we go. Take this all the way down and just connect it to the end. Really simple. All right. So the back of the house is a little bit tricky. I just want to let you guys know the the detail of it is can be a little bit confusing. I just want to like preface this before we get started on it. Uh, exact same thing up here, by the way, where you just want to go ahead and fill this in. Not like that. That is a mistake. All right. So this is going to go all the way across here. Again, I did the same thing again. I'm wasting time. It's, it's, it's a little, you have to make sure you're paying attention though. You actually uh, either like counting in your head or just, you know, making sure you line it up with the previous block because... You know, you can't do an undo when you go one past, so you got to do the whole thing again, especially when it's seven blocks, so you got no room for error. All right, so that has uh, been squared away, which is looking great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, since this is lined up here, we're going to go ahead and take it out one extra block here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure it's three blocks of seven and then one block away from here. Then you can kind of fill this all the way up like this. And then right this block here is actually going to be five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just to add a little bit of an extension off to the side. Here's how it looks from this angle like that. Just like that. And then we want to kind of like take it through the wall more or less. So first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and make sure that we have this all squared away. So we're going to go ahead and do seven here. Seven here like that. Go ahead and fill this up like this. And then another seven. Two, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move it in one extra block. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and do seven again here and seven again here. And then this is going to get moved in. So we're going to have four blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just going all the way across. I'm going to title this episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because that's all I ever say. All right. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and fill this in with some snow like this just kind of take this all the way up like this just take it up and we can go ahead and leave this open for now since this is going to be a different uh layer in a second here so now what we want to do is come on the inside here and we're going to go ahead and stack this up seven so like this and like this this is going to go all the way down seven blocks up stacked up perfectly good so it's got another layer of, of inside building here on the inside of the house this is going to go right up to the coal wall. And then you want to go ahead and just take this up with some full blocks like this. Have this run all the way down. And one more. And then you want to make sure you fill this block in here because we're going to place our stacks on every single block here just so it's all filled in. So this whole thing here, this two, this, uh, two block wide space is going to get completely filled in with seven blocks of snow. So guys, I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, I went ahead and just filled this all in with seven, two blocks in. Um, adds a really nice look to it. And the great thing about snow stacks is actually, even if you have one block of snow stacked or seven blocks up, so there's just a little bit of air coming in, 
Um, that actually lights the room exactly the same as if there was uh, no block there at all. So uh, it's a great way to light rooms actually with natural lighting because it's completely uh, exactly the way it would be if there was no wall here at all, So, which is really cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break this block, and I'm going to go ahead and take some snow across right here. Or, and by snow, I mean clay or coal. <laughs> I don't even know what block this is anymore. We're going to go ahead and take up another stack of seven, run it all the way around like this. And it's just going to go all the way through here like that. And then this, this right here can become full blocks, actually. So you can go ahead and do that. And if you do this right, it should be four blocks right here. Perfectly looking great. This is the uh, clay running or coal running through it. I'm going to get that mixed up a lot. They start. They both start with C, guys. You got to give me a little bit of a break here. All right. It's, it is hard. It is not easy to uh, talk and build at the same time. So those of you YouTubers out there would understand. All right. So with all that filled in, we're going to go ahead and take a line of snow and run it across through here. And take it two blocks into this coal. Just like that. Awesome. Perfect. Just what we want. We're going to do the exact same thing on the inside. Run it through here. Just like that. I'm going to break this block for now. Because again, I don't want anything to melt. Just being safe. And now this whole thing is going to get filled in with five blocks. So I'm talking like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to run through this entire thing. Every single block on this plane is going to get filled in with five blocks of snow. So again, I'm going to cut the video and do that real quick, and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, everybody. Went ahead and filled it in real quick. Didn't take too long, and that is how this is going to look. So we have this really nice, sleek-looking shape here. It uh, lines up really nicely with this coal, so you want the coal to line up right dead in the center of this block here. And if you did that right, then you should be good. So here's how it's looking like from the back, guys. We are almost actually have this place completely closed off. we got to do a couple more things here. So I'm going to get out some stone slabs right here. Put those over the glowstone. We don't need that anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in some stone slabs right here like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take uh, five blocks of glass across right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I just kind of fill this in. So five by three of glass. Whoops. Just like that. And then you want to go ahead and place two glass panes on that as well. Just like that. There we go. So that's how that's going to look, guys. And uh, that is pretty much the closed off version of the back of the house. Again, everything is looking great. It's all coming together really nicely. So the house is pretty much closed off now. We're going to do one more thing on this episode, guys, before I conclude. I'm going to come back to you guys with episode three where we're going to finish up the interior. I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to do the interior of this house. There's actually a couple of different options, which is pretty cool. And it really all depends on whether you're building on a super flat world or a regular world. So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and do the last thing on this particular build. Well, we're going to do two more things, two small things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break these blocks right here like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill this block in with some full blocks right there. Like that. So it should look like that. Get that filled in like that. And then all you have to do is just place some snow back here. Like that. Adds a really nice look right there. I like that a lot. So that's how that's going to look, guys. Pretty good. Alright, so with that said, let's go ahead and move over here. So we have one more thing to do, guys, before we conclude today's episode. So this is going to be a little bit interesting. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place a block of snow just like that, lining up with the end of this coal block right here, one block away from the edge of the roof. And we're going to go ahead and take this across four. So we got two, three, and four. So again, the snow should line up exactly with the coal. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take this 10 blocks back. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then just go ahead and just fill in the perimeter so we have a nice rectangle here. All right, just like that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place some coal in here like this. And then we're going to go ahead and place another layer on top of that of snow. Just kind of fill that in so it's two blocks high. Just like this. We're going to go ahead and get out some daylight sensors. We're going to be using those for the first time. And you just want to go ahead and fill in this space here with some daylight sensors. And this is going to act as our uh, chimney slash you know, solar panel energy for the house kind of thing. So now what we want to do is go ahead and stack this up five blocks here. So we're going to have, we're going to just break this all the way around like this perimeter here. And this is going to be stacked up five blocks now instead of just having it full blocks. So we have a little bit of the coal showing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, that was actually four. One, two, three, four, five. And just going to have this filled in all the way around. And it's going to be really nice, guys. So once we have this finished up, we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of a chimney thing, and then we'll be out of here, guys. 
I could just mess that up two times in a row. <laughs> all right, so this is going to run all the way across here. So uh, let me know how you guys are liking this house. Um, I, I've had a lot of fun building this house, you know, the first time through because, you know, it's just utilizing. I like to utilize the new features and I think I did a pretty good job, you know, capturing a majority of the new features here for this particular style of build. So there we go, guys. That's how that's going to look. And uh, next episode, we're going to kind of uh, make this make sense here in the fireplace room. So there's going to be a fireplace right here. And we'll have like, um, you know, a little bit of an opening up here in this chimney. So probably it'll probably be like right around here somewhere. And, you know, we'll put a little bit of like fire or something like that in here. So, um, you know, it has like maybe a little bit of a smoky look to it. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Give a like if you did enjoy it. Um, this is coming along pretty good. We have the, you know, I guess the, the layout pretty much put in. The house is closed off. The only thing we need to do is just add some fine details and, you know, do a little bit of interior design and we'll be good. So next episode will be the final episode. But until then, guys, thanks for watching. It has been Dan Lags. Give a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Have a good day and peace out.